My name is Mel Zingerberg, lead anchor of Newsbreakers. Sorry, what was that? Well, I'm the heart and soul of the team, as I'm sure everyone else already told you. If they didn't, they were certainly thinking it. They're a modest bunch, but let's give credit where credit is due. My advice for my future co-anchor would be to just show up ready to do a good job. You'll last longer in this business if you have a hard work ethic. One of my previous co-anchors was part of Newsbreakers for four months and she didn't even show up once. That's the kind of laziness we have no patience for here. The hottest person at WNBD would have to be me, naturally. Not counting me. I don't know, uh, Jeff? He looks the most like me. Uh, well, you know, I get to the station around 7 o'clock and I make sure to do 50 crunches, 50 push-ups, um, stare at myself in the mirror for about an hour or so, sometimes hour and a half, depending on the day, you know, sometimes the muscles are just looking great. And, uh, you know, do my hair up, go uh, visit with a few lady friends, and then, uh, you know, I hit the desk and ready to roll. My news role models. It's a good question. You know, I don't, I don't think I've ever really had a role model because pretty much everything that I need, I got right here. No regrets. No regrets. I thought I had one and then realized I didn't. I regret that the studio didn't make me anchor a lot sooner. Honestly, I'd say Newsbreakers has been a huge success. I know it's certainly been a smart career move for me. And you're welcome to your opinion, but I haven't regretted being here for a second. I think the reason that people feel a little differently is just a matter of taste. Some days you wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Some people might say that Newsbreakers woke up on the wrong side of the bed six years ago and been that way ever since, but you know what? Last night I slept on the couch. And you can't wake up on the wrong side of the couch, can you?